fundamental rights article 12 to 35 article 32 is represent as a right to remedies this is a very important right to any person can go to the Supreme Court or a High Court if he or she suffer from any injustice, any kind of violation regarding the laws. That's why this article 32 is known as a soul of Indian Constitution. Just remember that it can also ask in your paper 1 also and paper 2 too. Another article of fundamental right is Article 39A, which was added in 1976. 1976, when 46th Amendment was done. This article is related to directive principle, which ensure right to free legal aid. These are just some articles which are important regarding the fundamental rights. Now moving further, we have we were going to start with the first act PIL. PIL is a public interest litigation. It is a originated with the concept of PIL Act in 1976. The public interest litigation that it is that any person who face any kind of violation or in, uh, injustice can go to the Supreme Court or High Court. So this act is for the litigation for of the human welfare, for the protection of human right, so that no injustice, no uh, injustice or any kind of violation happens with them. This is act tell you about the litigation or legal action for the public interest. That's okay. It was originated in, it was came adopted in India in 1976. The, the person can file a PIL in a Supreme Court or, or a High Court if any kind of violation is happening. Okay. Now, the most impact important law or act is water prevention and control of pollution act which was adopted in 1974 okay this act is regarding the protection and prevention of the water from getting polluted this act was launched by government of india in 1974 remember the year because in the paper they mostly asked about the year in which year the water protection act or water act is launched so remember it it's year it's very important to know the year and also read the time to time amendment which is very important it was amendment, amended in 1978 and 1988. In these years, there are several changes in the act. Let's study what, what is all about. This act is mainly focused on the water or water related problem and prevention measures. So, water is a state subject. I, I already mentioned that there are some topic, there are some important subjects which is classified as a unionist 
subject uh, union list, con concurrent list or state list. So water is a subject of state. Okay. This law was passed by parliament by using article 252.1. Remember this article important is sometimes they ask about the in which article the in constitution of India the particular act was added. The particular article talk about the this act. So please remember the article also. Uh, in this time also they have asked the article of Environmental Protection Act. So like this they can ask the uh, article of some important act like water at air. Okay. This provides for the establishment of central and state boards. Earlier when this act was adopted, they they, uh, the government established Establish the central and state board which has power to make rules, regulations, everything for the prevention and the control of for the prevention for the prevention and the control of uh, water pollution. But when amendment was done in 1988, when there is an amendment in this act, this central and state board is recherished or reclassified as a central pollution control board, which is popularly known as CPCB or state pollution control board which is known as SPCB. Okay. So in 19, 1988 amendment these two bodies CPCB and SPCB got more powers as they are the authorized authority which give authorization to any decision related to the water dispute or something they have all the power like prevention uh, uh, like conducting regular checkup monitoring prevention measure awareness program these are all the power that we uh, are given to cpcp and spcp so they are higher authority which uh, which give you the permissible limits which uh, permissible limits which put up the standards which set the standards for the prevention of the water which creates the uh, awareness program or they have power uh, for uh, taking measures relating to pollution water pollution or they set standards also and they conducting regular monitoring to keep update and updating about this uh, water pollution so that they can time to time they can make uh, they can enhance their decision so in this act you should know what is this act about and what are the powers of cpcp and spcp who has a higher, higher authority to give in any kind of permission Okay, so this is important to learn about the following acts. Under this act, CP, SPCB or CPCB has to lay down standards, standards like permissible limits, ambient limits in uh, the water, you, what like chlorine, what are the permissible limit of chlorine allow in the water. So they some they set some standards for this because of they want to control the water pollution. So they lay down the standard regarding the control of pollution. They can also inspect or investigate in the case of any leak a leak violation. If there is any kind of violation, they can has power to investigate about that 
uh, issue and provide decision on it. They have a power. SPCB has given power to establish laboratory for analysis of environmental sample. See, Central, uh, Central Pollution Control Board has more power than SPCB. SPCB has to submit their report to CPCB also. And they can, CPCB help SPCB to set standards. So this is an important act, PIL, PIL Public Interest Verification and Water Prevention Act. Another important act is Air Prevention and Control Pollution Act. Remember its year, it came in 1981. 1981. At 1981, the government of India adopted an act to control the pollution of air. It is enacted under the article 253. Please remember the articles. It will ask in exam. To give force to the agreement of Stockholm Con Conference in 1972. As per the Act, your PCB or you can say CPCB, Pollution Control Board, CPCB and SPCB Board are required to lay down the standards and in case an issue consent order through which air pollution is primarily controlled. See, all the powers are in the hand of CPCB and SPCB. They are the higher authority which lay down the standards, which provide uh, consents, which have a uh, monitoring power, which provide prevention measures and all such citizens, all the people has to follow. They keep regular monitoring. This is done to prevent the air from the pollution. However, in 1897, we are important amendment. Noise was included in this act. Earlier, the noise was not included under the Air Act, but after 1971, 1987, noise is also included in Air Act. So, when was the uh, remember the year of the two both act? Air Act and the Water Act. It is important regarding to the uh, uh, exam point of view. Then also the role of the CPCB and SPCB and the article of both the Act. 